हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट यूर सेवन क्लास सेवन ओके विच चैप्टर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस विच चैप्टर सो द चैप्टर दैट वी आर डिस्कसिंग इज एसिड्स बेसिस एंड साल्ट ओके सो देर आर थ्री क्वेश्चन an anti acid tablet is taken when you suffer so eight so we are solving exercise we are solving exercise so eighth question explain why an anti acid tablet is taken when you suffer from acidity so when you suffer from acidity why the anti acid tablet is taken the anti acid tablet is taken because acidity means there are lot of acids so anti acid tablet is nothing but you are you have to neutralize it okay uh, the anti acid tablet is nothing but against acid anti acid okay the word anti acid means you can say against acid anti acid you can say so for that we can say anti acid okay so anti acid tablet we take anti acid or anti acid we can call it as opposite to the acid so it neutralizes the acid that is why we take this tablet so whatever we call keno these all are anti acid tablets keno uh, is a anti acid what we can say fruit uh, juice okay then we can say omi omi thing we can say those tablets okay let us not uh, market them okay so next uh, b we will discuss this Calamine solution is applied on the skin when an ant bites. See, calamine solution is applied on the skin when an ant bites. So, when an ant bites, what happens? Formic acid will be releasing. So, the formic acid released is acidic in nature. To avoid this, we use calamine solution, which is basic in nature. To neutralize that, to rub that, we use the calamine solution. Okay. Third one, factory waste is neutralized before disposing it to do, into the water bodies. See factory waste should be neutralized. See factory वाले क्या नहीं factory वाले का ये लव वर्क आद में आता है. So आ नीरी ने जो तो ये नहीं रखता है. There will be lot of wastes which are harmful for everybody. So if it is moved to water body, those people who are consuming that water or the aquatic animals like fish, okay, which are present inside the water. Will be affected by those dangerous chemicals, okay? Because they are very acidic in nature. Since they are more acidic in nature, water will become acidic. So the PUs, water, aquatic animals living in that water body, they will become. It will become difficult to live the life of them. Okay? All of that kind of jalajal prani gadi ke na kati, jiva ka hani ya gusa dite head chhata da. सो आ कारण ऐन फैक्ट्री वेस्ट बाडी होंत मुंचे अदिक न्यूट्रल सो इट शुड भी न्यूट्रल सो दट इवन दो इट रीच द वाटर बाडी इट शुड नाट प्रोड्यूस टू मच आफ हारमफुल इफेक्ट आता सो फैक्ट्री वेस्ट असिडिक न्यूट्रल बेस अल्ले मुखातर अथवा एंटा असिड अल्ले मुखातर न्यूट्रल आम इफ यू लीव इट टू द वाटर बाडी सो दे नथिंग विल हैपन ओके नाट टू मच आफ हारमफुल थिंग्स विल हैपन Okay. Three liquids are given to you. Question number nine. Three liquids are given to you. One is hydrochloric acid. Another is sodium hydroxide. And the third is a sugar solution. See, three liquids are given to you. Any more liquid? Put to you. One is hydrochloric acid. One is HCl. Hydrochloric acid. Okay. Another is sodium hydroxide. Second one is. Sodium hydroxide. Okay. Next, how will you identify them? You have only turmeric indicator, and third is a sugar solution. Sugar solution. Sugar solution. So you have only turmeric. What turmeric? Turmeric will change its color to red in base. बट निर्सिकल हेडेंटिफाई नो फस्ट ऐन टर्मरिक हाथ ऐन चेंज आगे 
एसिडिक अंदर बेसिक अल्लाह को बताता है बट एसिडिक वी डोंट हैव एनर्जी दिस बेस आई विल पुट इट इन सोडियम हाइड्रोक्साइड यस सिंस इट इज बेस इट विल टर्न टू रेड सो एनी वन चेन ऑफ द दी रेड डाटा सो टर्मरिक विल टर्न द सॉल्यूशन टू रेड मींस इट इज बेसिक इन नेचर दिस इज बेस ओके नाउ द सॉल्यूशन इज टर्न द रेड If this solution is put in HCl, again it will become yellow. That means original turmeric. You know the origin uh, turmeric solution is yellow solution. If it is applied to NaOH, it becomes red solution. After red solution, if I apply to HCl, it will become which solution? It will become again yellow solution. Yes, are you getting my point? then we can apply after that sugar solution so that whether it is acidic or basic we can easily check that okay so i hope this much you understanding this okay then blue litmus paper is dipped in a solution blue litmus paper is dipped in a solution it remains blue what is the nature of the solution explain See blue nature litmus paper is dipped in a solution. It remains blue. Note one solution. Another the solution is another bottle. Another one. Acidic is another. Basic is another bottle. So in that case, what is blue litmus paper? Blue litmus. It remains blue only. Blue was the only thing. Blue was only thing. Right? Okay. What is the nature of the solution? And the nature of the solution is another. We have to explain. Note if it is acidic. Blue with the name of a hito, red of a hito. If the solution is acidic, blue turn to be red. Blue should have turn to be red. Okay, but it is not turning here. Blue is remaining blue. That means it is a basic solution, or sometimes it could be a neutral solution. Because in neutral solution, blue will be remaining blue, blue red will be remaining red. So this we can say it is a neutral solution. Okay. Question number eleven. Shall we move? Consider the following statements. Both acids and bases change color of all indicators. Both acids and bases. Which of the which of all the statements are correct? We have to check. See, both acids and bases change the color of all indicators. First one. If an indicator gives a color change with an acid, it does not give a change with base. Acid will do no color change. That means base no color change. I will tell you. If an indicator changes color with a base, it does not change color with an acid. When the base will do a color change, that means acid will do a color change. I will tell you. Okay. So last one is what? Last one is change of color in acid and a base depends on the type of the indicator. Yes. Change of color in acids and base depends on the type of the indicator okay what is the answer here see first one is what both acids and bases change color of all indicators no both acids and bases will not change the color of all indicators because turmeric is there means the acid will not change the color of turmeric the original turmeric yes it has to be in base after then you can apply it to the acid then it may change but initially it will not change second b if an indicator gives color change with an acid it does not give a change with base no acid will color change other base will agle be okay this is also wrong if an indicator changes color with the base it does not change color with an acid again this is also wrong if it is changing with base means it will also change with acid once if it changes with base it will change with acid also D change of a color in an acid and a base depends on the type of indicator. Yes, which type of indicator they are using? On that basis, the change of color is used. So, which of the these statements are correct? So, only all four are not correct because A, B, C are wrong. A and D again they are wrong. They are not correct. B, C, D they are wrong. They are not correct. Only D. Yes, only D is the correct one. Okay. So, this ends. your chapter so we have already understood did you know so just this is the end of this acids base and salt just i will quickly revise with 5 minutes so acids base and salt the chapter starts with acids 
सो वॉट आर एसिड्स विच आर सोर इन टेस्ट सो यू लर्न नेचुरल एसिड्स फॉर्मिक एसिड एस्कॉर्बिक एसिड देन लैक्टिक एसिड टाटारिक एसिड ऑक्जलिक एसिड सिट्रलिक सिट्रिक एसिड्स दे ऑल फाउंड इन डिफरेंट डिफरेंट फ्रूट्स एंड सो दे हैव आस्क आई विल टेल यू इन मिल्क देर विल बी लैक्टिक एसिड मिल्क कर्ड बटर मिल्क सो दीज ऑल हैव लैक्टिक एसिड्स so in fruits like orange lemon they have citric acid if an ant bites which acid is released formic acid then in uh, tartaric acid will be there you know hunchikai anti hunchikai so hunchikai will tartaric acid is there so amla anti amla so those kind of amla is having ascorbic acid so then oxalic acids are there so these all acids are natural acids and there will be three acids which are we can call strong acids hcl h2so4 hno3 what are the names for this hydrochloric acid hydrochloric acid h2so4 is sulfuric acid sulfuric acid hno3 is nitric acid Acid. So these are the three strong acids we know. H two H two four is called king of acids or king of chemicals. It is called okay, king of acids or king of chemicals. So after that we come across with bases, and of course still some acids are there. What we can call acetic acid and all, and after that bases came into existence. So what are bases? They are bitter in taste. they are having soapy touch if you touch them you can feel soapy okay those are bases so which are the bases those are having hydroxides naoh koh these are bases they are having hydroxides in them naoh is sodium hydroxide koh is potassium hydroxide so these are bases okay these we can say that bases these we can say that bases okay and uh, after that we come across indicators so to check the whether a given solution is acidic or basic see almost all the solutions are either acidic in nature or basic in nature sometimes the solution is neutral in nature okay so to check whether it is acidic or basic we use different kind of indicators red uh, litmus papers which is obtained from lichen okay so this litmus paper uh, available in two strips blue litmus paper and red litmus paper if the blue litmus paper is dipped in a solution it turns to red if it is acidic if it will not turn then means it will be it will not turn the color in basic blue will remain as blue in basic when it comes to red litmus paper it turns red to blue in basic solution but it will not change any color in red to uh red it will remain red to red in acidic solution so we same with we can do with china indicator we can do with the turmeric so turmeric how it changes the color so only in base it changes the color it changes the color of the base to red and after that it will change the color in acidic that if the red color is put in acidic solution it will turn to yellow again so these kind of indicators we have used after that what we come to understand is Uh, regarding salts salts of war what or we know uh, what we can say is salts are metal and halogens nacl nabr okay kcl koh okay so not koh kmo so three sufficient cl h2so4 and hno these three when they join with a metal we can say them as a salt ಇವು ಮೂರು ಏನಾಗಬೇಕು ಮೆಟಲ್ ಜೋಡಿ ಬರಬೇಕು ಸಿ ಎಲ್ ಆಗಿರ್ಬೋದು ಎಸ್ ಓ ಫೋರ್ ಆಗಿರ್ಬೋದು ಎನ್ ಓ ತ್ರೀ ಆಗಿರ್ಬೋದು ದೇ ಶುಡ್ ಕಮ್ ವಿತ್ ಮೆಟಲ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ದೇ ಶುಡ್ ಕಮ್ ವಿತ್ ಮೆಟಲ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಮೆಟಲ್ಸ್ ಜೊತೆ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕ್ರಿ ಬರಬೇಕ್ರಿ ದೇ ಶುಡ್ ಕಮ್ ಅಲಾಂಗ್ ಮೆಟಲ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಲೋರಿನ್ ಸಲ್ಫೇಟ್ ನೈಟ್ರೇಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಲಾಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಅ ಮೆಟಲ್ so sodium chloride sodium bromide so this is a halogen no need to worry so kcl kno3 again we can take mgso4 
mg and o3 these kinds are called as metals you will learn about this in class 8 if you have a complete chapter for that also in class 8 you can learn here. okay that is salts we can learn in metals and non metals there is a salts we can learn them there in class 8 okay so after this what comes that is salts over and one very very important uh, reaction that is neutralization and the application of neutralization in our daily life that is digestion in digestion we can use and all those process we have already seen anti-acid tablet is taken because to neutralize the acidity on our body okay and those factory waste should be neutralized before it reaches the water because they should be neutralized okay now we will uh, understand the neutralization reaction that is just it is a fusion hcl plus NaOH. so what is neutralization reaction when an acid reacts with base it produces salt along with water okay hcl is acid NaOH is base okay when this acid reacts with base it produces salt NaCl that is sodium chloride it is a salt along with water along with water so this process is called as this process is called as what we can say neutralization e process e anantarri neutralization this process is called as neutralization okay so i hope this one is clear so this is uh, the main topics of why we might be missing a little bit also but these are the main topics in revision we might miss but in regular we have told everything this is the main topics of acids bases and salts okay i hope everything is clear so this is the end of this chapter next class we are going to start a new chapter okay so regarding the question answers so in two or three days you solve all the question answer so don't worry uh, just one of you tell me or one of you remember me in whatsapp sir please send the answers in the group if i have not sent okay i will definitely send the all, all answers so from that you can write your fair book you refer those answers from those answers you write your fair book okay thank you